Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I will be sharing my honest thought after trying or using this new Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Moisturizing Face Serum Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 60 Plus with Vitamin E. So if you are here in USA, you can purchase this one I think everywhere because I personally purchased mine in Target but you can check it out like in Walmart and CVS and everywhere. This is very common, very ordinary sunscreen and as you know, Neutrogena has a lot of beautiful product not only for the sunscreen but they also have like for their moisturizer or skincare product anyway this is not a sponsored video I don't gain anything from this video but I am just talking based on my personal experience how Neutrogena has a lot of beautiful skincare products they are very affordable but it works well on the skin but as I've always mentioned that we all have different skin types so this is just my subjective feeling that Neutrogena products are really great for my skin when some would say that Neutrogena are just so irritating and well that is just your opinion also and that is subjective so so I respect for that but for me personally I love Neutrogena product it's very affordable and uh, it works well onto my skin some of the products are really working well onto my skin particularly their sunscreens so now let's go back about this sunscreen so this is a chemical sunscreen so this really works well onto the skin uh, especially if you're wearing makeup foundation it won't leave a cast because of it is a chemical sunscreen and it's very easy to work in the skin especially if you love wearing makeup this can be good underneath makeup and it's not greasy it's super lightweight which is I really like it I love the consistency of this one however when you have a very sensitive skin or acne prone skin type in my opinion it would be better to use a mineral sunscreen because mineral sunscreen as we know that it is very it is less irritating and it's very skin friendly if you have a very sensitive skin then you gotta have the mineral sunscreen in my opinion rather than choosing the chemical sunscreen but that is still your discretion and especially if you have my skin color then chemical sunscreen is really great because it won't leave like a super white cast you don't look like a ghost other nice thing about this sunscreen is that this is a broad spectrum SPF 60 plus so when we speak about broad spectrum it protects us from UVA which is responsible for like aging premature aging wrinkles and etc and the UVB which is responsible for you know like um sunburn onto our skin aside from that i uh, wearing sunscreen is really great because it protects us from skin cancer and some other skin problems so this sunscreen by the way is fragrance free so if you have a very sensitive skin then this is really great because sometimes fragrance can trigger uh, skin irritation or further trigger uh, skin irritation so that is just on my opinion but you better uh, you do a patch test or whatsoever before applying onto your skin and if you already have a severe skin problem please consult for a dermatologist and by the way it's very interesting that this sunscreen also is made in Canada. I thought it was made in USA but it was made in Canada and I, I love purchasing a product that's just made in Canada, made in USA, made in UK. So that's that's the product that I love to purchase and I trust those uh, product. I trust the quality of the product. So if you are very particular by the way on the active ingredient, this product don't have oxybenzone. So it's oxybenzone free and there are several research about this one several opinions about this one but i am not sure if there is an exact answer but it says that this can interfere the growth of the coral reef so some some state they don't want that if you are swimming on their beach or ocean they don't want you to apply any of the product because it can interfere the growth of the coral so i am not so much sure about that so if you have an opinion about that then please you know let's talk about it in the comment section but for me it's not super big deal because this is very common on most of the skincare products because this is just a UV ray blocker so there are several more active ingredients on the product I think I am just going to write it there and by the way based on my personal experience when I apply this one onto my skin it works really nice onto my skin color it won't leave a cast and as of course this is a chemical sunscreen so it works well on the skin it won't leave like a ghost feeling or a white cast feeling so anyway overall on this sunscreen it's a really big thumbs up and if you have an oily skin type this is really great I would say that this is great because this has like a matte finished onto the skin which is great if you have an oily skin type but for my uh, dry skin type I still notice that it's very hydrating onto my skin I don't notice like my skin looks super dry this is really great so I think whatever skin type you got whether you are oily or dry skin type this is really great it's very hydrating it's because of the vitamin E I believe so just correct me in case I got wrong so anyway I hope I give you insight just in case you're wanting to try this type of sunscreen this is the moisturizing face serum so when I notice also on the, on the store that it is a face serum I fell in love right away because 
I was just curious how does it feels to apply some sunscreen that is a face serum sunscreen it's just like double purpose by the way so anyway that's all about it and I do hope to see you on my next one bye bye